Hey there friends and welcome back to another video. Today we got a brand new update for Multiverses and there is a lot to go over. Real quick before we do get started be sure to leave a like, subscribe, etc and let's go ahead and get started. First off we have a new fighter Agent Smith. If players are able to complete enough tiers in the Beat Rifts Get Agent Smith free event, they will be able to earn him as early as July 8th. Agent Smith will also be available for purchase on July 23rd for everyone else. Next we have the return of the free for all mode. This game mode has been added to PvP. In it you battle against up to three other players. The first player to four ring outs is the winner. Spectator mode was also re-added to the game and is available for custom games. Lobbies can support up to four spectators per game. Post game stats have also returned, which is really nice. You can now see your total ringouts and damage dealt on the results screen after any PvP or PvE match. Battle pass tiers can now be purchased in game with Gleamium. They added a daily free item which can be collected in the store. Currently, the only one we know of is this free gem one, but it could potentially be better stuff in the future. Fighter select portraits have been changed from 3D to 2D art renders for fighters only. Variants will still be the 3D renders that they were before. They added an option to edit perks in custom game mode. They also added the option to turn off and on both outline colors and team colors in PvP and PvE. The outline color is obviously, you know, the outline color. The team color is essentially just like how your enemies by default have been basically just very red. So that's just basically an option to turn that off because a lot of people, including me, did not like that. Next, let's talk about rifts. Megalodog PvE Rift is now available, and future rifts have been added and will be unlocked later in the season. These are the Age of Smith Rift and the Triple Threat Rift. Rift Cauldrons are now called Rift Star Meters, which honestly is a good thing because I had no clue what a Rift Cauldron was until this actual, uh, thing. These star meters can now be completed by, by collecting 72% of available stars in a rift down from 80%. Players who have already completed 72% of available stars can claim their rewards by retroactively completing one node in that rift. So basically if you complete a node after this update and you already had it at the mat, it will give it to you as soon as that is over. So this will just make it way easier to get all of the rewards that you can from this. And if you're wondering what this is, this is just a little thing on the bottom right in the rifts that you can see with the little star and the meter of different reward boxes. Daily gem rewards now appear on a rift of each attunement each day. Um, I'm not exactly sure what that means. They added a new button to retry a rift node when the rift is completed in single player mode, which is super nice. And they added a new button to leave rift matches when in single player mode, which is also super nice. The defeated bosses requirements has been lowered to unlock Matrix Code Superman, Bugs Bunny, and Jake variants. Area of effect attack damage has been reduced on higher difficulties. Reflect damage has been reduced on higher difficulties. And armature knockback has been reduced as well. Next, some account stuff. Badges now show stats on accounts cosmetic screen. They didn't mention this in the patch notes, but you can now see how much prestige you get for cosmetics on multiple screens. Account mastery, character mastery, and leaderboards now show progress for all matches in a set in the post-match match summary, post-match match summary rather than just the last match. They fixed an issue where incomplete matches would display as losses on the career screen. They are reintroducing some of the input preferences that were popular during the open beta. This includes customizable input buffer timing, customizable control stick input dead zones, swap side neutral attack inputs for ground or air, toggleable option to use attack inputs to pick up items, fastball method input settings, tap down or hold down, and customizable neutral dodge input binding. Next is combat changes. Attacks that incapacitate fighters now apply a temporary incapacitate resistance buff to the incapacitated fighter. This will make any following incapacitation attacks have a much shorter duration. This should allow for players to much more easily escape previously inescapable infinite 
incapacitate combos such as alternating Jake's bite and spit. Bite attack combo input buffers have been standardized for all fighters. It should now be easier to buffer a different attack during a jab combo without accidentally inputting further attacks in the jab combo. Next, we're going to talk about bug fixes. They fixed an issue where fighters that took fire or shock damage on the same frame they were hit by an attack would cause the attack to be ignored. Fixed an issue where fighters could respawn without spawn invulnerability. Fixed an issue where all team perks were always given their stacked effect. Protective momentum projectile shield now breaks after blocking one normal or heavy projectile. Next, let's talk about some map stuff. The Court 2 variant has been added to the game. I'll put what it is on screen. It's just this kind of daytime variant. The Cromulon's Rick and Morty stage has had some changes. The 2v2 variant specifically has had its main stage and side speakers width increased 20% and the blast box size, which is just the death zone, has been increased 10%. For the 1v1 version of the stage, the width has been increased for just the stage by 20%, not including the speakers, and the blast box has also been increased 10%. Next, Dexter's Laboratory 1 scroll speed has been reduced, reverse scroll button cooldown has been increased to 15 seconds from 1 second, and they have also updated the possible layouts. Next, the Game of Thrones throne room for the 2v2 variant, they have increased the upper limit by 300 units. Next, the Townville stage, Mojo Jojo has increased interval between attacks, bombs and lasers have had their knockback reduced, Mojo Jojo takes more damage before attacks are interrupted. Lastly, for stages, we have the Tree Fort. Bounce pads should more reliably bounce fighters and prevent them from fully landing on the platform, which is the tree. Next, instead of going over every specific character change, nerfs, and buffs, we will instead go over the major the major ones, and the rest, I'll just say they were buffed or they were nerfed, etc. Aria was slightly changed and got some fixes. Banana Guard was mostly nerfed. Batman was nerfed, Black Adam was nerfed with 5 nerfs and 1 buff. This includes his up attack lightning cooldown now having a 4 second cooldown. The rest of the attack will still happen, it just won't have the lightning coming down. Bugs Bunny was insanely nerfed with 5 nerfs but they were pretty major, including his safe which has had its health reduced from 16 to 3. Finn was buffed, Garnet received 3 buffs two nerfs and two changes. Ismo was majorly nerfed, primarily his car with five nerfs, three of which are specifically for the car. Harley got five changes, four buffs, and two nerfs. Iron Giant was nerfed. Jake was majorly buffed with six buffs and no nerfs. Jason was majorly buffed, primarily relating to hitboxes. LeBron was also majorly buffed with 14 total, but a lot of them were very minor. Marvel Marvin mostly received minor bug fixes, Morty was nerfed, Rain Dog was buffed, fixed signature perk, bit of a stickler meat seeks, has returned from the beta, which causes his me seeks to deal more damage to fighters that are already hit stunned. Shaggy was nerfed, Steven was majorly nerfed with 11 total. Superman's flaming re entry perk has returned once again from the beta, which makes his up ground special deal more damage and ignite enemies as well as leaving a firewall. Outside of that, he was nerfed. Joker was majorly nerfed, and Velma received lots of bug fixes and some buffs. Wonder Woman was majorly majorly nerfed with 13 total nerfs and a lot of them were some pretty major things anyways that is going to be it for this video if you did enjoy leave a like subscribe etc we're gonna do more videos like this in the future so hopefully you enjoyed anyways i will see you guys all next time huge thanks to the channel members zach p fighter kid storm god 5746 paco catfish and david lawless